I'm Ian, drumming for Mariana Trench, and you're actually going to the center stage, the most important part of the stage. Come with me. I am a Yamaha guy through and through. I like them because I think they sound fantastic. They're super worth the price. They're really easy to tune, and they tune very consistent. So if you're doing a lot of backline stuff, Yamaha is the easiest kits to rent, um, and also they tune all like all the same because all their hardware is the same. So apart from the actual drum tuning part, all the drum hardware is interchangeable. So they're very, very easy to set up, very, very easy to tune. This is a Maple Hybrid kit. Um, I like the 20 inch bass drum because it's a little bit punchier. So, you know, like 20 is ideal for us. 20 and 22 are probably the most common. I'm a Remo guy for heads. I like them because they last the longest. I find they're also easy to tune and you can never over tune them once, like, once you stretch them. If you tune them up really high, you can detune them and they will not lose their elasticity whereas a lot of other head companies if you tune them too too high they have a different type of mylar system so what happens is when you back it off it loses all of its tone so it sounds like wet cardboard uh, so I love Remo I love Vic Firth uh, I find they're fantastic sticks they're super they're weighted very well they're really really consistent and they have really really high quality control so they don't have very many duds when you get them if you're ordering you know in a brick packs of 12 they're they're uh, very, very few duds. And I have a DTX kit as well. They are absolutely insane. I can't tell you how good they are and how versatile they are. You can do, I probably know how to use 3% of their capability. They're, it's crazy what you could do. You can load up samples. So if you did an album where you wanted to import specific samples, you can import all the samples. Um, it's insane, it's crazy. It's absolutely insane. It sounds a little bit popular these days, so what I can do is say the drum sound changes from the verse to chorus. I can play on the acoustic drums and the chorus when everything comes out big, but then what I could do is like say the verse has got different sounds and we want it to come down, I can go onto the electronic kit. Um, electronic kick drum too, I got like a slave pedal, so you see how this is a regular pedal here. This was a double pedal, so if I'm hitting this one, it uh, use the slave pedal to, uh, to hit the electronic kit. Yeah, it's insane what you can do. Um, last but not least, I love Sabian cymbals. I find they're amazing. I rarely, rarely, rarely ever crack them. They just sound phenomenal. They're super crisp. They're super, they're super tight sounding, so they're not ringing over everything. Um, they don't have any, like a lot of them have the weird, harm, like they ring obviously, but not the weird harmonics. Sometimes with cymbals you get a real, real low hum that is riding in the, uh, in the microphones. You don't get that much. And for you lucky Americans, you're very fortunate because Sabian's made in Canada. So you can get wicked cymbals and you can save basically 30% off the price because our dollar sucks ass. So Sabian is a very economical deal for you. Um, as far as microphones, our whole band were endorsed by Sennheiser and Neumann. So Sennheiser everywhere, Neumann everywhere on all our guitar stuff, all the guitar rigs, Sennheiser vocal. All our vocal stuff is uh, vocal mics out front there, Sennheiser. All our wireless gear, Sennheiser. We like them because they're very, very durable and consistent, hard to break when you are doing a lot of touring life, you know. I try not to hit the microphones. I should be hitting the drums, but it happens the odd time. Uh, and the odd time Josh likes to, you know, the odd mic drop, Sennheiser can withstand a few falls. So we're very happy to be using those guys.